Boom, boom. Hello, nerds! Welcome to Geek Beast, part of the Geek Beast Network. This is your daily rundown of geek news from geeks that look like me, geeks that look like you. Bro, they got one trillion bars, bro. bro. That's what I'm talking about. One trillion views on YouTube. Jesus Christ. Man. I kind of want to yes, go man. to see what that looks like on, 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 A on trillion? the screen. I kind of want to see what that huh. looks like. I'm curious. Yo, I was on I was on YouTube earlier this morning, and I want to say, and they actually changed like the little moniker, kind of like you know how like Google would do it all, all every like every other week or so, some event or whatever it is that's going uh-huh. on in the world, and Google will change their little moniker, right? When you when you go to the search engines website, they did that for uh one for Minecraft and the one views. trillion views. They just had a one with a with a whole bunch of zeros and, and it never even hit me like i was like a trillion i was like oh that must be like you know maybe 10 billion something or 100 i billion. see it i see you it know, they have it up in the corner see what i'm here. saying yeah oh, man goodness. it's like your eyes kind of just like kind of like melt into the zeros man one trillion views my guy that's insane that's insane that's bananas <laughs> nuts man that's that's so yeah, crazy insane yeah it's hey impressive. man so long but yeah, long before the metaverse became the premier destination of tech companies and, and newlyweds, there was Minecraft. It was a platform that started as a video game about dodging explosions from hip, from uh, hissing cactus-shaped creatures and became the blank canvas in which millions of players create their content, upload it, and generate literally trillions of views. Literally. Wow, that's so crazy. YouTube man. in collaboration with Minecraft developer uh, Mojang is in celebration in an unprecedented trillionth view with a t with a snapshot with a snapshot of the game's unique and transformative history on the platform listen yo minecraft is not just a game it really is like a way of life have you were you i was i'm way too old to have really jumped into the full minecraft experience that that happened i was like in my late 30s early you know what i'm saying but i i can i game recognize game where you can appreciate the the gravity of what of what one particular game is doing um, look, they say like one of the cheat codes is if you're ever creating a YouTube channel, they say one of the cheat codes is, is to create a Minecraft channel because you will get followers like nobody's business. It is like the way to crack the code. It's, it's something about it, man. It's something about world building with it. Have you played? I played like one second of Minecraft and was like, <laughs> man, this menu system is atrocious, atrocious, but kids love it kids love, love it. it i mean they go they love it they go in and it's like crack rock to them i seen them they sniffing it's just like crack yeah. i mean they seriously go like my nephew canon he used to go in and play and he just navigated mm-hmm. around the menu and i was like why didn't they create a better menu service than this they could create a better menu Right, it's a lot of things they could have done better, but I think that's what makes people love it so much is the simplicity of it. I mean, even even the game is like eleven years old, I think. Right, it's like yeah. it's been around for a really long time, and even back then, the graphics that you would see in your typical regular video games far surpass anything that Minecraft shows. Like by by leaps and bounds. I thought it was like a joke, but you know, I guess the ha ha tee hee. The joke's on me because Minecraft's YouTube community has over 35,000 creators from over 150 countries. That's crazy. That's game. That's, that's, that's spitting that's, bars, man. <laughs> you you talk about crazy. spitting bars. That's Ain't crazy. nobody spitting bars like that in Minecraft YouTube, man. You, mm-hmm. That's crazy. The kids grow from there. They go into uh, uh, Fortnite, which makes total yep. sense. You're building yep. and you're shooting. So Fortnite was like, you yep. know what? These kids like building and these adults like shooting. Let's combine the <laughs> two. Let's do fusion. Like 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 yeah. it's trunks and Goku. I mean Gohan. <laughs> like, let's do fusion. They over there getting the whole little <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. You know what though? It wouldn't surprise me if Minecraft didn't have a heavy influence on Fortnite with the building. Absolutely. Because that does that does seem like the next big step. I mean, it was it was it's been such a cultural shifting game. That you know, why not implement you know a first-person shooter that's that's going that, that excuse me a first-person shooter such as Fortnite that uses building yes. uh, to to kind of like move some of those gamers over because the thing is is that you can create your own worlds and a lot of kids are doing just that they're yep. building these worlds and then turning it into first-person playing tag or hide and seek or maybe even some forms of shooter to go along with it. I just had an epiphany. Epiphany. What's that? 
Minecraft is doing to these children what MySpace did to us. MySpace was trying to turn us all into HTML coders. It was. And it well, was I mean, trying, you know, low I mean, key, everybody low HTML key. coders. Yeah. And we could have made millions on Web 2.0. <laughs> you now, Web 3.0 is coming out, and that's the metaverse. Who's most yeah. prepared for my, uh, the meta building in the metaverse? These kids that grew up mm-hmm. on Minecraft and Roblox. <laughs> you're not lying man you're not lying because yeah. roblox, yeah. roblox is that next big piece of crack that's out there yeah. kick crack that's out there yeah. and and a lot of a lot of kids like before like code kid came out and code academy and all these other like uh websites that are used to help introduce coding techniques to younger kids a lot of the ways for what i've seen from a lot of those programs they actually use minecraft as a way of building, of, of world building on a basic rudimentary level, like you can actually get into some of the code, move some of the blocks around, change some of the colors, seeing how, uh, seeing how, what, what these kids can do and how they can affect the environment in, in the Minecraft simulation. And keep in mind, this is 11 years ago. So there's a nine-year-old kid out there that was probably learning this, who's 20 years old, who's probably trying to get a job at a at, at a video a, game uh, studio. At a video mm-hmm. game studio. So don't. I mean, it's it's funny to laugh at a little bit, but that that's a really powerful influence, man. And what you said with MySpace kind of like is hits the nail right on the head. Uh, I tried uh, uh, coding. You know, excuse me. Um, I tried learning HTML and uh, and and uh, all of the coding processes in the earlier stages of the internet. But it wasn't until I was stumped on trying to figure out. How to get common sense, common song, um, uh, go, 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 go. Yeah. And on the count of three, I, I wanted that song so bad on my MySpace page that I actually looked up how to properly get the music player in and how to get it to play at a certain yep. button to get touch and stuff like that. Like it actually forced me to learn, you know, some type of coding in a, in a very rudimentary kind of way. So it works. It works. It's am- it's amazing that <laughs> these kids are getting prepared and they don't even know it. Parents should encourage yeah. this behavior. Yeah. Yeah. And then once you get nice, then go on YouTube and you, and, you know, join the uh, join the trillion other people that are out there. Mm-hmm.